welcome back guys so uh, previously we have solved question 2.95 in which we had found out the probability that a disease was classified as positive okay uh, so basically there we had two cases in which either the disease is classified when it is not actually found in the patient while uh, the disease has been found when it is already or actually uh, persist in the patient okay so uh, this was question 2.95 and we have found the solution of it today we are going to solve question 2.97 in which what is this so let me see here that so in question 2.97 the statement is referring to exercise 2.95 what is the probability that a person diagnosed as having cancer actually has the disease okay so what we previously had we had the probability of the disease okay probability of the cancer in a certain place and probability that it is not in the certain place similarly the probability of diagnosing it positive if the disease is already or actually available we had this probability and also the probability that it is diagnosed as positive if the patient is not actually ill of this disease okay this is already available today what we have to find out we have to find out if the disease is positive what is the probability that a person is actually positive or has the disease okay so actually this is basically the reverse of it what do we have to find out here the probability of the positive disease given that it is diagnosed as positive and this is what this is basically the essence of another theorem which is called Bayes theorem or Bayes law okay so on the basis of it we have to find out the probabilities which we have here and in order to do so let me go down here further what is basically the essence of the Bayes theorem so suppose if I have two boxes okay here we I have box one and box two and here we had some balls so here we have actually black ball two black balls in the first one while one black ball in the second one okay similarly we have some more balls these are red balls in this this three red balls okay and similarly we have two red balls okay? So I can very easily see here that what is the probability that I will have I can find out the black ball here so let me call this one as the container 1 and this is the container 2 okay so from these two we can very clearly see that if the container 1 is selected the probability of the black balls is how much that is if container 1 is selected the probability of the black balls is 2 by 5 and similarly the probability in r1 which are the red balls in container 1 would be if container 1 is selected it would be 3 by 5 okay. similarly here if container 2 is selected here the probability of the black balls if container is selected it would be 1 by 3 and similarly the probability of the red balls if this container 2 is selected it would be 2 by 3 so now uh, we have these probabilities and the overall probabilities of the black ball and uh, red ball can also be found out by if I want to find out the probability of the black ball so I can find out the probability of the black ball if container 1 is selected multiplied by the probability of the container 1 or the probability of the black ball if container 2 is selected multiply it with the probability of the container 2 which is the same scenario we had been going previously okay so this is the same scenario in exercise problem 2.95 so this is the overall scenario which we have but in Bayes theorem what are the answer what it 
has to find out and what it gives us if this is a Bayes theorem and what would we found out on the basis of it. Bayes theorem basically gives us the answer that if a black ball has been selected, what is the probability that that black ball has been selected from container 1 or container 2. Okay. So, I hope you have uh, understood what I want to find out. If a person has a black ball, okay, he has picked a black, black ball and he has went to another person. So, what is the probability of the container 1 if he has picked a black ball? Okay. So, that is what the Bayes theorem basically gives us answer about. Okay. So, you have understood the essence of the Bayesian theorem that basically it answers us if event has occurred what is the probability that this event is of type 1 or type 2 okay so this is basically the answer it wants to provide us okay so that is basically the scenario which we have to find out in the Bayes theorem and i hope you have understood all these things and connecting it with the same scenario whatever we have so let me go down further and here we have to find out that if a person has been diagnosed positive what is the probability that a person already has a disease positive or already has a disease we can find it out by using the base theorem equation and that is the probability of d plus given that c plus multiply it with the c plus dividing it over this d plus okay this is what probability of d plus. so what is this basically I have basically previously told you guys that if I want to find out the probability of A given B, so that is basically the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. Okay. On the basis of it, let me have this equation A and on the basis of it, I want to find out the probability of A intersection B. So, multiplying both sides with the probability of this B. So, what would I get here? Here I will get, so removing it and then multiplying both sides with it, what I will get here, I will have probability of B multiplying by. Similarly, if I want to find out the probability, let me write it here, probability of B given A, okay, what it would be, it would be probability of A and B again divided by the probability of the event which has already occurred, which is this A, okay. So, now multiplying both sides with this probability of A, what would I get? Then I will get here probability of a and this and let me call it equation as the right sides of both the equations are similar so on the basis of it i can very easily see here that the probability of a multiplied by probability of b given a is equal to words this one which is probability of b given or multiplying it with the probability of a given b so from it i can very easily found out that the probability of b given a that would be equal to the probability of a given b pro multiplying it with the probability of b whole divided by the probability of a so what is this this is basically the essence of the Bayes theorem which we have here okay so that is the equation and on the basis of it we have found that this is basically the thing which we have to find out and previously we have seen that we have all these values and after putting them here we will find our solution okay so actually what is the Bayes theorem let me write this equation here as well so according to the Bayes theorem probability of b given a would be equal to the probability of a given b multiplying it with the probability of b and whole dividing it with the probability of a okay so this is what this is called the base theorem okay which we have seen today so let me highlight it further and this is what this is the 
Bayes theorem which we wanted to find out the answer of. So that is it for today in which we have discussed the essence of the Bayes theorem, how it is connected with the problems uh, of the statistical analysis and the probabilistic methods. So I hope you have understood the essence of it and uh, I will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video. See you soon.